hurricane in the Central Caribbean. And if you're keeping score at home, that central pressure hasn't changed. 947 millibars. Still 140 mile per hour category four hurricane. We get a lot of factors coming into play, but more so we're gonna have to watch its speed. And as it continues to make that northwesterly approach, it's moving slowly at around three miles per hour. There's a lot of confidence that the storm is going to continue to move northward for the next couple of days. By Monday afternoon, it's going to make its closest approach to Jamaica and Haiti. But it's not just winds. We're going to see potentially devastating storms, storm surge, especially on the eastern side, because winds around the storm are going uh, counterclockwise. So we'll have more of a southerly flow coming into the southern shores of Haiti. That means the winds are coming right off the water, directing what could be an 11 foot storm surge there and into eastern Cuba as well. In addition, 10 to 20 inches of rain is likely across pretty much this entire region, but there could be isolated amounts for southern Haiti where we get near 40 inches, and that would also lead to devastating flooding. We are concerned about very, very rough surf, strong recurrence, and also some large swells. Extensive wind damage, power outages, flooding, and mudslides, as well as devastating storm surge. The models are taking this directly into central portions of Florida. Other models are just shooting it all the way up into, into the northeast portions of the mid Atlantic. We do have some models that have been making landfall over the Carolinas. There's still lots of them.